Right guys, let's go for a spin. <laughs>
right, let's try this uh, pendulum crystal. Okay, so if you can hear me, where's the wind? Let's wait for the wind to drop. If you can hear me, do something erratic with this. <laughs> I don't know, rapid grammar here. So that is very odd. Okay. Right. I feel like I'm being watched, guys. I'm going to shut this down for a minute now. I'll take you down the the front by the coastal. Part of Dunwich. It's a lovely little place, mysterious. Um, there's something nice about it. If you like places, you know, full of history and that have just got that lovely sort of mysterious ambience to it, then this is a place for you, you know. There's a lovely pub down here and it's got guest houses in it as well. Beaches that way. This is the pub I mentioned, the ship, and these are like little guest um, chalets. Very quaint, very sweet. Um, you know, it's you know since I sort of well, I was going to say the Woodbridge blog that I did or vlog. You could tell I was so out of breath when I was walking. Um, but where I'm doing a lot of this walking around now, I must say my breathing has got a lot better. So it does show you guys, get out there, get walking, get moving, and improve your respiratory side of things. It does seem to work. Also, I've improved the mic, I feel, a little bit. Because I think I had it too close to my mouth. I've lowered it down a bit, so you should hear me clearer. Okay, there's a lovely little museum over there. It's not open at the moment, but it does tell you all about this village and the 12 lost churches and what happened here. Various burial grounds. There you go. Dunwich Museum, the story of the lost city. So they're actually calling it a lost city. Opening times, March, weekdays, 2 till 4.30. This cannon, so this cannon is one of the, one of a number that were around in Dunwich until 1939 to 1945. And most of them were taken away. This one survived. It reappeared a few years ago. But it was originally in use and how it came to Dunwich are not known. Hmm. Wheelchair access. I always look at that now because um, obviously since my dad had the stroke and his wheelchair bound, you kind of look at those things and see what is available to people that are less fortunate than ourselves, you know. Right, I'll take you up to the beach side of things. We'll see if we can hear any bells ringing. <laughs> so, this is Dunwich Beach. Hello. It's 
quite mild today really a little bit of sunshine just come to greet us all would you look at that well somewhere out there is the 12 lost churches of what they were calling lost city so yeah I get that I can hear why people report sounds of bells ringing Occasionally, stuff still gets washed up to this day. Bits of the old village, houses, etc. But I've been down here with um, my youngest son, Ewan, and uh, when the tide goes out, there's a nice bit of sand, and it's actually a very popular destination to come and sit and chill. Um, I do recommend you visit the place. There's also a lovely cafe up here and somewhere to get an ice cream. I'll show you in a second. So that's the cafe area. Imagine on a nice day, isn't it? a pleasant place to come and if you like a little bit of ghost busting give that a shout as well well I hope you enjoyed that guys and uh, keep an eye on the channel there's a lot more exciting stuff to come hi guys um, well that was uh, weird I uh, went to do what I'm doing now and all the power shut down. That's never happened. This was a, a short vlog. This shouldn't, the battery power never um, just goes like that. So something drained the battery today twice. So that is uh, a sure sign of a very haunted place. Let me tell you that now. Um, anyone who's out there watching that's done this kind of thing will tell you the same. Um, this only happened to me once at uh, a place called the Bell Hotel in Fetford. I stayed in a, a very uh, haunted room overnight. Um, you, you even had to sign a disclaimer that you could at some point walk out, but you wouldn't be refunded. There was lots of activity there. Um, uh, maybe sometime I'll revisit, revisit that. I've listened to you guys. I know you're interested in this sort of stuff, so I'll be doing more of it. Um, hope it's interesting for you. I'm still getting over the shock of the EMF <laughs> meter jumping around and um, the big spikes and the uh, the energy drain. So, yeah, if you want a haunted place, for sure, Dunnage, um, especially around by Greyfriars, is uh, very, very haunted. Um, so I hope you all enjoyed that. There's lots more to come. Um, getting back to the whole um, reason I started this channel is really to show people that, you know, if you've ever wanted to do things like this, I've always had an interest in the paranormal, but never really had a chance to, or the time to do it. So, recent events, buying the caravan, living cheaply, I'm working towards uh, being semi-retired semi now, to allow me to do this and all the other things that I want to do. You can see at the beginning of the blog, I was going for a ride on my motorbike. So, I'm, I've, um, you know... I'm revisiting my bike in life, so that's cool as well. I've got a little boat that I'm going to show you at some time. So, you know, if you're 55 and um, you are, you know, looking to make some changes for the better, maybe this channel might uh, give you some inspiration, who knows. But stay tuned, lots of stuff to come, guys. Love you all.